Oh, the battery's about to die. Fine working model here, put out by Pumatech. I think it was circa 2013. Discontinued now. It works great. My my older age, my, my thumbs aren't quite as smooth and great, graceful as they used to be, so the, the movements are a little a little jerkier than previous year's videos, but it's a, it's a very fine working loader. Love it. I've had it since, I don't know, 2015, but it took me a long time to get it built. But, uh, Glad I got it working now. Works works great with these uh, uh, B50 dump trucks. Uh, anyway. Stockpiles are getting pretty full. I decided decided to start digging here. Got my pile cleaned up about a month ago, and got lots of dirt to come out of the basement yet. But I'm just really not up to walking up and down these stairs 20 times a day to haul dirt out. My foot is well. I don't suppose it's ever going to be 100% again. So just gonna for now. I'm just gonna work here. They got, I don't know, four or five, six foot hole. This entire area at some point clean up my, my wood mass there. And uh, take that down too. And then the hole, I'll just get a, probably a bobtail of pea gravel and fill the hole back in and then cap it with a stone chip to make a nice surface. So probably got, I don't know, at least a good year's digging here. So far, I haven't had to wet this at all. That you know, this track over here between the ripper and, and the digging bucket has been doing all the digging. So I'm quite surprised that it's able to get through it. Christmas time there, I got a. This is a less you uh, rock breaker, so I'll put that on tomorrow and, and break up all these all these chunks here. I found a big flat rock just just right here. Track hole was able to break up most of it. You know, pulling it out of the ground unusual rock to find foot and a half below the surface. Well this is where I'm digging now for the time being. Pretty cool that I don't have to wet anything so I don't have to wait for it to dry either. Just put it right into the rock crusher. Although it is pretty dusty. So a couple of weeks ago I fashioned up a couple of uh, bathroom pans here and put a uh, furnace filters on, on the other side. So when, when I'm crushing dirt, screening dirt, screening dirt, you got a small 12 volt fan there, and then I got another uh, 12 volt or cordless fan that I'll set up somewhere over there, and it pushes all the dirt this way, and it helps clean up the dust a lot. So it's a lot easier to breathe in here. Something else that is new. I got a new little buddy. Why are you so dirty, you goofy dog? Laying in the dirt? Got him a week ago. Ah, you goofy dog. These are all dirty. You gotta have to take the air compressor. Vacuum cleaner to you. You're gonna love that. Goofy dog. Hey, you goofy dog. He's a five-year-old hanging tree. I think it's an Australian bloodline. Previous owner there was trying to train him to be a cattle dog, but he just didn't quite make the mustard, so... Made the painful the decision to give him up and start fresh again with a coley. Friends of mine there, so I got him a week ago. He's he's a fantastic pet. He hardly ever speaks. I saw his reflection in the in, in a another another window yesterday. It's the first time I ever heard him bark. He just went a little nuts barking at himself. That was kind of funny. Nice and quiet. Good. Good pet dog, good house dog. A little big for a lap dog. Not sure if I'll take him with me 
seeding or not. I think he's too big for a tractor cab, but listens really well, does a few tricks, loves playing fetch. Cool dog. Really glad to have him. It's been about five years since my last dog died of old age. So it's good to have a dog again. Hey, bud. Hey, buddy. You just love attention, don't you? He rides with me in the truck to town for coffee in the morning, and if I don't tell him to come out, he doesn't move. He just, he just loves to ride. Turn his seat warmer on. He's just quite content to sit in the truck and wait for me to come back. Where I coffee, I, it's a walling shop, so, so I can take him in, and he likes meeting other people. Hey, bud, he's such a good dog. God, are you dirty? Jesus, I have to blow you off before you come back in the house, you goofy dog. Hey, you goofy dog. Goofy dog, hey, Ranger. Something I got a couple weeks ago was a, a Lexu model. A, it's a Cat 374. Getting it together here. It's kind of funny when I, when I requested this model from a Chinese seller, he had to question me if I had the experience not the experience to put this thing together and I'm like it's just a bunch of nuts and, nuts and bolts man it's plug and play electronics what's what's complicated about it I had to ask twice to get it an un, unbuilt unpainted model kit because I wanted to build it myself that's been going together really well I mean look at the instructions here there the instructions are well laid out to try to talk me into spending another 175 bucks on a cab of light 970 valve because they said these elastic valves are untrustworthy but if this turns out to be a leaker well then i'll just put german in because well german's just better than chinese period i know that pump there from what i read on the lefty side it's about 400 milliliter per minute which is way too small for a charcoal this size I think the cylinders are pretty good size. Where the hell are they? Uh, well, they might be in that bag there. I think the cylinders are about 18 millimeter bores, so, so it's gonna take a lot more pump than 400 milliliter, probably put in 900 or 1.2, not sure. But it'll be a junk pump. This uh, wall cooler here, I think it sits down, you know, right in here. I like I'll put it in just for that detail, but I don't plan on using it because from what I've read from other people online, these they, these coolers create more heat than they than they dissipate because the you know the plumbing is too small. So it's kind of a good idea, but that plumbing it's only three mil, and your you know your supply to your pump is six mil. It's, it's twice as much, so you're trying to push twice as much oil through half the diameter so I mean it's just going to create heat that's a no-brainer so it'll be in the mono it just won't be won't be a part of the system and what you really need is a uh, hydraulic tank hydraulic tanks right here so I have measured it out but it looks like it's probably 150 200 milliliter so it should be big enough that you know the oil shouldn't run too hot too warm uh, I think I think it bolts right up front here yeah, yeah it bolts up in this front corner we'll see how it goes maybe maybe I'll have to make a new tank uh, out of brass something that's closer to 300 400 milliliters like my burials uh, I worked the shit out of them for you know up to an hour digging hard and and uh and the oil's never more than warm to the touch so the biggest problem with heat is, is having enough volume but this kit here work on it hour here hour there every day and it's been a lot of fun to put together the instructions are, are very good it's highly recommend you know if you want to dabble in this hobby less it's not too expensive this that this kit cost me 3300 bucks you know of course that's without radio without batteries but it comes with the hydraulics and electronics and you know maybe I won't have to 
change the hydraulics or maybe I will but you know whatever put another five six hundred bucks into it it's not a big deal get it working right I'm just gonna put it together raw for right now and play with the Chinese stuff to see how it works and probably this summer tear it down in sub assemblies and then it, and, and paint it but that's what I got going on for right now about a month away from hitting the field for spring planting. You know, the hobby hobby time over till probably later June. Anyway, that's about it. Talk to you later.